What's going on, everyone? Dan, back here again. And yes, title's right. We are doing Rananautica. Um, guys, if you're new here, make sure to go down there, like and subscribe right now, and join us on these adventures. We always got Rananauticas coming. Uh, always got, you know, getting ourselves in crazy adventures, doing paranormal, whatever. So make sure to go down there, hit that like and subscribe button right now. Um, if you don't, if you hate the video by the end, you can always unsubscribe. Simple as that. It's it's money back guarantee for the rest of you guys who have been subscribed for a while. Thank you very much. And uh, make sure to share this video with somebody, uh, friend, family, on your social media, doesn't matter. All of it helps us out a lot. But anyways, we got some intentions already picked out today. And I'm not going to ramble on too much right now. I'm going to do that right after the intro. So... Let's get into it. All right, guys, so I am back. I am back doing Randonautica. Uh, so, had a long chat with Max and a few other people um, that I consult with. Uh, you know, just, you know, some of those people that give life life advice, you know, you value their opinions. And, you know, they watch, my, they watch the videos. They're up to date. I tell them everything that happens on Randonautica. And the general consensus was, myself included, nobody talked me into this. Um, or anything is that I should keep doing it. You know, I shouldn't be afraid of these people They've had ample time to make a move and they haven't you know, they're just They, they don't do anything um, They've they've had me you know cornered before they've had plenty of opportunities if they wanted to cause me serious harm they I mean obviously they've tried but um, Something would have happened so it's, it's kind of like, you know, they're like, more or less, don't let them bully you into stopping. Don't let them bully you into not making videos. Um, just see what happens. You know, you can always, like, see, like, it's obvious there's something very, very big that they don't want you to find out. And uh, that gives you more reason to push through and figure out what exactly is going on. So that's, that's the conclusion that we came to, is I'm going to keep going, doing Randonautica, keep my guard up, um, and kind of see where it leads me. Uh, like, like I said, at any moment, things could change. I could not do Randonautica anymore, you know, if things, you know, if something else happens. And guys, if you guys are new, what happened last time is the cult, the past two, the past two videos... Uh, one, they set uh, a trap for me. It was a bunch of razor blades inside of a box. Um, thankfully, they set the trap very terribly, and it didn't work. Um, they were expecting me to put my hand in there to grab an intention and uh, get my hand cut up by these razors. And, uh, yeah, they didn't, they didn't plant the trap right, and it didn't work. Good job. Um, and then, last time, they straight up called me and said, hey... Either quit doing Randonautica or we're going to kill you. Literally, like, if, if you haven't seen the last video, check out the last video. It's the last, it's the last third of it uh, where I get the call. Um, and you can hear it for yourself. And, yeah, it's, it, I haven't gotten any calls since. I haven't gotten any, any um, contact from them since. And I don't know if it's because I haven't been doing Randonautica and you know if that if I'm not then they don't mess with me or like what the situation is um and guys I have been light on the uploads lately because I, if you guys weren't aware of it and if you guys haven't seen the live stream or what I announced on the last video I actually injured my wrist and hand pretty good I think I pulled a uh I, I pulled something um in my hand like a like a ligament or something because I had shooting pain starting the wrist I went up to my hand, my hand got like super swollen. It looked like a mitten when I made a fist, or like tried to make a fist because I couldn't even do that. And uh, yeah, it's it sucked big time, but um, it's been about a week and we're feeling pretty good now. 
feels like I can move my wrist. Um, I'm gonna try and take it easy. Uh, so yeah, that's that's where the videos have been. But now that I'm feeling better, videos are coming back with the vengeance. I want to get uploads out for you guys. I want to keep continuing this adventure and really see where it leads. So today I'm gonna try and do like I'm gonna try my best to do an extra long rain and audit for you guys. Really film a lot of it because I know you guys like when I film a lot of what's going on. Oh, there's a bee. Um, go away. Oh, stupid bee. Um, cause yeah, I know, I know you guys really like when I, when I film thoroughly, thoroughly, uh, but yeah, let's get into it. I got three intentions picked out for us today. Um, if the area looks familiar, it's cause I've done Randonautica in this area before, uh, probably about a month, month and a half ago. I've been out here. I'm in the, I'm a little bit further out than the Western suburbs, um, Northwest suburbs, I should say in Illinois. And yeah, we're going to kind of run it. Just because I'm doing random audio doesn't mean I'm not paranoid about everything still. So I just heard something in there, but I mean it could be whatever. I'm in a I'm in a public place. You can I'm sure you guys hear the traffic going on. I hear I'm sure you guys hear construction noises over that way. So yeah, it should be good. Depending where it takes me. Today we're gonna do the radius uh, medium. Again, we're gonna stick around five kilometer radius because um, I have it set. I have the free version of Randonautica, and if you don't know about that, you can only go up to 10 kilometers. Um, so I'm going to stick around between 5 and 7 kilometers today and uh, see what we got. Because we're right in the mix, right in the middle of like some a small, a couple, two small towns and a bunch of forests and stuff, a bunch of fields. Um, so I'm going to keep it around this area and see what we get. Uh, all right, which one do I want to go first? Which one do I want to do first here? Okay, uh, we're going to do our first one from our friend, uh, if you can see the name, which you probably can't because it is way too bright out, but you know who you are, Just RC Fun, uh, one of our biggest supporters, um, a good, good friend of ours, so we're going to do Just RC Fun's intention of uh, lost intention. Uh, I really like that one, so we'll get uh, Random Nautica opened and see what we get for lost intention. Claiming my free owl tokens now. All right, I'm setting the radius for, we'll do six kilometers, which is just pretty big. All right, generate. Lost intention. Lost intention. The bird's flying slow today. Now we got something though. Alright. So we got a point. Looks like it's right by. Where is this? Yo, know, where actually is this? And where I'm at right now, for some reason, like, doesn't have barely any service. It's really annoying. Okay. Well, I think I know where that's at. Let me bring in the, I'll bring in the Google Maps in the car, but we actually don't have very far to go. Uh, it, brought, it brought me a pretty a pretty close intention. Um, so I'm probably not going to, you know, I like to do the uh, the drive and talk sometimes. So I'm not going to do that right now uh, just because it's, I'm not going to, I don't want to set up. It, it takes a while to set up the cameras. Um, so we're just going to drive over there and see what we got when we get there. So let's do it. So this has taken us over here. Looks like we got like kind of a well, semi well traveled path. And I couldn't really see it in the, uh, on the, on the map because it wasn't loading, but it's under a bridge. So, yeah, right down here, 
trying to uh, trying to keep my footing with these uh, worn out shoes, keep my camera from falling and going to this bridge. So excuse the uh, or go down this path, I should say. So excuse the very uh, tiptoeing tip steps. So, yeah, I'm trying to trying to do three things at once. And this was, this was not the, uh, these shoes were not the move today. I should have worn boots because it looks like I may have to walk across some rocks. <sighs> Feels nice down here though. Feels real nice. There's a path that goes back there, too. I wonder what's back there. Alright, so, uh... We're down here. Start looking around. Looking for some... Some stuff. Man, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't do... I don't like... Walking across rocks... With this camera. So I have a very... I have a kind of pricey camera that I use. I should get something cheaper and use this for like, uh, like my big projects and not just running around, running and gunning for random nautica. But what, you know, you gotta, you gotta deal with what you got. And is this a fossil? Could this be my intent? Is this a fossil? Dude, no way, is it? It's. I don't know if it's an actual fossil, but it looks like, it looks like something, something interesting. Definitely embedded in the rock and super, super hard. Huh, that's kind of cool. Is that, is it, could that be my, uh, could that be my intention? Could it save me from having to walk out on these rocks? Let's look at the pin. Or the point. No, oh, 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 guys, I was wrong. I was wrong, okay. I was wrong. I wasn't zoomed in enough. I saw, like, the point was, like, in this area, so I assumed it was under the bridge. I don't know why. I shouldn't have just, like... Yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have just assumed that, like, oh, the point's here, it's under the bridge. I don't know. I got that thought in my... You know what that... You know how that happens? Like, you get a thought in your head, and then you believe, like, okay, this is fact. That's just what happened. I thought the, the point was under this bridge for sure i thought it was under here it's actually down this sketchy looking trail so this is not our uh intention even though it is cool i kind of want to take the rock with me but i'm not going to do that but the point is taking us down this path into the woods just a little way um just fine maybe it can get us away from all this uh, road noise that you can hear up above up, up above me um, But yeah, I just saw the I just saw the point and I was like, oh, it's under the bridge And then I I checked and it, it's not It's not under the bridge. It's actually back here. So let's Not waste any more time and head back here Ugh. And we got a spider, spider web right in our way. I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks like it might be too faint to pick up on the camera. Man, yeah, there's a spider climbing up. Dude, I'm sorry, spider, but I got to get through here. I legitimately feel bad about destroying the spiders, but he, looks like he, he works so hard on making it, but I don't, how else do I get around? All right, guys, sorry, my friend. Sorry, 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 sir. If I find, if I find a big bug back here, I'll drop it off for you to eat. I'm sorry, spider. Yeah, I, why, tell me why I feel bad about <laughs> destroying the spider's web. 
I know we can rebuild it in a few hours. I know they're real quick with that stuff, but still, like, my man was just trying to get some food, and I was like, nah, son. Nah, you don't, you, you don't get any food. I'm, my randonautic is more important than destroying your house. But F in the chat for the spider's web, please, guys. F in the chat. All right, so we are at the point. Now let me double check, because I was wrong the first time. Yeah, we were at the point. Here. On this general area in the forest. Um, so. Sorry, I bumped the camera. Uh, for you guys who don't know, this camera has literally one, three record buttons. The shutter, a record button on the front and back. So whenever I try and do anything especially switch like this if i have my if i have my hand pushed too far back against the camera i'll hit the record button if I, I have my hand pushed too far back against the other side of the camera i'll press the lens button because even if i tap the lens button it'll stop recording like even if the lens doesn't detach it'll stop recording so you guys see like a button if you see me randomly just shutting off it's not on purpose it's because I always press these, these stupid buttons on the camera and it shuts it off. So everybody's like, oh, why with the, what's with the random cuts? And it's like, it's not intentional. I still can't hold this thing. Ugh. This is kind of cool back here, honestly. I mean, this is a neat little trip today, guys. Like... I'm, I'm getting distracted. To be to be honest with you guys, I'm getting distracted. Dude, this is sick out here, except for all the all the all the road noise. It would be peaceful. It would be peaceful, but yeah, it's tons of road noise out here. This, this is like an echo chamber for these cars. But yeah, it's dude, it's sick out here. Looks like I'm coming to the end of the path though. Kind of goes into nothing. Yeah, look at this view. Super peaceful. Look at this. I bet people come and fish out here all the time. Oh, yeah, 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 they do. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah, I can see, like, fishing line hanging from the tree. <laughs> and somebody got, somebody got it caught up. All right, what are we looking for? We're looking for lost intention. Maybe it was the fossil. I don't know. Let's, let's still keep looking around. And then I'm going to go on a rant because I just saw something that made me upset. But we're going to find this intention first before I go on a rant. And honestly, guys, like I'm just, I'm just curious to see where these trails are going to, where these trails are going to go. I know I'm kind of getting out of the, uh, the point area right now, but... I'm really curious to see where these trails go. This is, cool, this is such a cool little area back here. So cool. It's like one of those those hidden places. Like seriously, like this is one of the things I actually like about Randonautica. Um, it and I've said this before, and I mean this is primarily. The, the, uh, the the main thing of the app believe it or not it wasn't to attract stalkers and whatever oh look how this is sick guys like look where it takes us yo i'm gonna have to come back and check out this area this i'm not i'm not gonna venture all the way back there but dude, this is this is cool it's like it's like a secret spot um but yeah that's that's one thing that's really cool with uh with Randonautica, it takes you to a lot of spots, and I mean, this is what it was made for. It takes you to a lot of spots you never ever find on your own. And that's why that's what uh, why I really like it, because um, when it's not when you're not getting harassed by stalkers, you know, it it can be pretty chill. I'm just like, look, look, come on, that's a chill scene right there, straight up. That's cool. 
I'm getting tore up by mosquitoes though. Tore up. Trying to get in their last meal of the season. Okay, lost intentions. I ain't seeing anything. Dude, what is going on with these mosquitoes, man? I'm gonna get out of here. They're starting to swarm me now. Like, oh, we got dinner out in the forest. Let everybody know. One just flew in my mouth. Ah. All right, I'm not seeing any lost intentions. I'm gonna go ahead and say that fossil was it that we saw in the rock, or maybe not a fossil. I don't know what it was. I'm gonna go ahead and say that was probably our lost intention. Ah. And then, oh, oh, oh. Dude, I don't know how I just spotted that. I don't know how I just spotted that. Yo. Yo, guys, you see you see what I'm seeing? Something hidden in that tree. Hidden right here. Hopefully this isn't poisonous. I am gonna start walking out, dudes, because I like, I, like I said, I'm literally getting torn up by mosquitoes right now. They're, they're relentless, relentless dark. Shop us now, relentless dark. That's where that's sight. <clears throat> well, we found some film. We found, we found some film. Yeah, some Fuji color, extra. Can't tell if the roll has been used or not guys do you know how to tell if the roll has been used or not because i'd like to get this developed if it has but uh if it hasn't i don't want to you know waste a roll of film or uh you know um pay to pay to have it developed and like oh there's nothing on it so ooh, the nasty looking wasp right in my way of course we might be running here in a second a nasty looking wasp up here all right went away take a chance oh trying to get out of here it's a nightmare Okay, we're out. Let me get back to you guys when we get to the car. It's actually quiet. I'm back in the car, as you can see. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right with the, this AC running. It's starting to get, the sun is starting to come out today, guys. Like, I don't know how many of you live in like this, this central area where we're at, Illinois, Wisconsin, Indiana, so on, Iowa. But we're supposed to be getting some brutal temperatures this week. Um, today isn't too bad. It's like, I don't know, it's like 90, 92 out today. But in the, in, further in the week, we're supposed to have like heating index is like 108, 111. So I know it's not much compared to you guys who like live in the desert, but still like for here, it's quite a bit. Um, bro, dude, I got torn up, like straight up, like mosquito bite here, uh, up oh, mosquito bite here. Mosquito bite there. Uh, dude, hit one here. Yo, dude, they, they were loving that. They were loving me being out there. Like, straight up, dude, I got torn up by mosquitoes. I probably killed, like, I can feel one right on my, there it is. One right on my finger. Man, I killed a ton of them, too. Anyways, I'll shut up. Uh, let's discuss. So, out in Mosquito Woods, I'll call it, which I'm not going back until the fall. Mosquito Woods brought us a roll of film. Hopefully you guys can see that all right. Hopefully it'll focus on it all right. Brought us a roll of film. So what do you do you guys know? I can I probably can Google it too. Like, can you can you guys tell it all if this has been used or not used? I'm guessing it hasn't been used since this ex is exposed, because I think when it's when it's like used, depleted, like all the exposures are used like it this is inside of the cake inside of the canister or whatever you call it film film roll i guess so if you guys know let me know how to tell if this is used or not because if it's if it's used i'm going to take it 
I'm going to take it and get it uh, developed. If it's not used, I'm going to give it to one of my buddies who shoots film if they want it. Um, they had a few friends who shoot film. But uh, yeah, guys, this is uh, interesting. Lost intention, though, like lost intention. So I wonder if this is the lost intention or if this is like a symbol of something else that has been lost, like some sort of picture, some sort of film, something like that. Um, I don't know. I guess it could kind of go either way. And these mosquito bites are starting to itch now. I'm finding some that I didn't even know I had. Um, so cool. All right, thank you, Just RC Fun. Take that as a W for our first intention. Uh, lost intention. All right, let's, uh, let's do another one, shall we? I say yes, I say we do another one. Um, yeah, that's Just RC Fun. The next one we're gonna do Anita's. Anita, thank you very much for your list of intentions. You never fail to disappoint. Hopefully it's focusing on you, Anita. There we go. Uh, you never fail to disappoint. Anita's always hooking us up with like a laundry list of intentions, which is sick. So guys, also, um, if you want to leave us intentions, make sure to leave them down in the comments of this video. And I will try my best to go through some new ones on the next Randonautica. But, all right, we're going to do Anita's intention of, uh... We're going to do, we're going to do an interesting one. We're going to do... What's this guy doing riding this bike? Is he riding a bike or is he skiing? He has his feet down for, like... Uh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> All right, we're going to do how to get rid of stalkers. That's one of Anita's intentions. How to get rid of stalkers. Okay. How to get rid of stalkers. How to get rid of stalkers. How to get rid of stalkers. Those late night stalkers. There we go, got one. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay. All right, cool. So we got a little bit of a cruise on this one because once again, I set this for um, a good distance, well not a good, a medium distance, set it for uh, again six kilometers. So we got a bit of a cruise out to where this intention is at. Um, so I guess uh, for you guys who like the car videos, you're in luck because I'm going to set up some cameras and chat to you guys on my way out to uh, out to where we're going. Um, you guys who do not like the car chats, who are not a fan, go ahead, feel free to skip this. Um, and we will be there in a flash. All right, guys, I'm going to get this set up, and we'll head on over. We are on our way to the next intention, and now I'm going to try my hardest to enunciate and speak very loudly and clearly, because... Because I left my tripod that I mount my big camera on at home. And I didn't realize this until right now. All I got is my small crappy tripod, which won't handle the weight of my big camera. I just found out as it tumbled across the back of my trunk. Um, so then I tried to set it up here. I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's make the best of a bad situation. I'm going to record on this exclusively. Then I'm going to record the audio on my big camera. And I'm going to put them two together so you have this and then you have the audio from the big camera. And it'll sound nice and clean and crisp and it'll be good. My big camera said, no, we're not going to do that. I'm going to record 
only road noise because I'm too close to the bottom of the seat. So I was sitting there looking at my camera, looking at the audio levels, and they were just completely peaked the entire time. So if I was to put that audio in, all you guys would hear would be like, whoa, from the, the tire, from the cheap tires of my car that are not quiet whatsoever. So we we're trying to use this small camera um, to record because this thing sucks at audio. This thing is horrendous at picking up audio. So I might not even use this clip. I might talk to myself uh, for a while and it might not even be usable. Um, so I'm gonna keep this short. And I'm gonna talk about something that's not important. That it, So if I don't use this footage in the video, I'm not gonna be upset. So what we're gonna talk about is what I was gonna complain about back when we were uh, at that last intention, uh, at that last point. And that is, it is not even the end of August yet. It is middle of August. And the leaves on the trees are already starting to change colors out here. This is absolutely unacceptable. This is this is horrendously unacceptable. This is abhorrently unacceptable. Like, what is going on? Why is it already at the end of summer? Why is it these leaves are already changing and being like, oh, I'm getting ready to die. It's the fall. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I love the fall good vibes, it's good scenery, it's good temperature. But what comes after fall in the Midwest is something which nightmares are made out of, and that's winter with cold and snow and temperatures below zero and icy roads and just just being a horrible wintry mess all around. And I, I hate it. I hate winter. Uh, the, the only thing I like is a white Christmas. After that, I don't want to see snow the rest of the time. Um, and it's not even the snow, it's the cold. It's just the, the bitter cold that keeps you trapped inside of your house. And if you're not, you have to go outside and put on a ton of layers of clothes just to suffer a little bit less than you would without wearing those tons of layers of clothes. And it's the most annoying thing because all of our videos, most of our videos take place mainly outside. So it's us wandering around, filming Randonautica and doing whatever else, freezing just freezing, just chill to the bone. Um, it's terrible. And that's why I hate leaves changing in the winter. Because it's terrible. It signals that something terrible is coming. I mean, they're great to look at. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, you know, fall colors, you can't beat it. You Honestly, you can't beat it. But that winter that comes after that, I'm going down to the south this year. I have to. I'm going down to the south for at least... February and March. I have to. I have to. Like, I can't live up here for another season. It's just, it's just too much. I just, I just hate it. Too, too much. So, guys, if you guys are down south, drop some recommendations on where I should lead, live uh, during my hiatus. Uh, I'm thinking about Florida or my favorite, which is North Carolina, but North Carolina isn't as, uh, isn't as warm as Florida is. And I want warm. I want North Carolina has that nice that nice fall weather, but Florida has that has that summer weather in the winter. So I don't know. I'm going somewhere. So if you're if you're from any southern states, preferably near the coast, give me some recommendations because I'm I'm coming that way for winter. Maybe I'll go to more than one place. Maybe I'll go to multiple places for the winter. I would stay like three weeks, two, three weeks a month in each place. And go check out the next one. They might do that. I don't know. All right, guys. I'm going to cut this just in case this clip isn't usable. I don't want to throw my voice out from yelling at the camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we'll see you at the next spot, which is coming very, very shortly. All right. We just made it out here. Out here, I don't know exactly where it's here but is uh far far forest from where i was i really really reached on the ed end of that seven kilometer radius and uh i discovered the point is right about here and the point and the, the intention is how to get rid of stalkers 
how to get rid of stalkers. So, I don't know, this is uh, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty open and public place. This is kind of like how most of the Midwest looks. Just open, flat, lots of cornfields. So I don't know if there's something symbolic here. How to get rid of stalkers, like stay in the open, maybe? Because upon uh, first glance, I'd not see any type of intention out here. Um, and like I said, we're, we're right in the point area. Because with the Rand Nautica, you're supposed to look um, within about, oh, come on, about 100 feet from the point, a lot of people say. Like, search like a 100 foot radius from the point for, uh, for your intention. And sure enough, our last one that we just were at was quite far from the point. Um, not super far, but kind of far. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering if, uh, if the same might be true out here. But at the same time, I don't know, like, with the intention, like, how to get rid of stalkers, what I could be, like, really looking for. You know, with uh, with the last one, lost intention is kind of, you know, a little bit more obvious. Like, oh, you know, what could be a bumble, big old bumblebee? Where'd it go? Um, oh, there it is. It was kind of more evident that I was looking at looking for, um, you know, a, an item or something. So, yeah, this is turning into the nature channel real quick better than the weather channel I guess um, so yeah how do you get rid of stalkers I don't know I don't know I'm kind of like I said I I'm kind of thinking this is more like symbolic more than like um, more than I'm supposed to find something you know like leads me to an open spot open area of land like I think, I think it's kind of telling me just like stay in the open. How do you get rid of stalkers? Stay in the open. Because like here, like, dude, there's literally nothing. Like it's flat. There's a little bit of some, a tree line back there. It's flat here. You know, it's it's very open. There's no forest. There's nothing really to hide, hide behind. Um, I don't know. That's just my first thought. But we'll, we'll, we'll search around a little bit. See if we can't find anything. And guys, uh, if you're looking forward to the car talk with Dan, it may or may not have happened. Let me explain. I say it may or may not have happened because it may not have happened because I don't know if my camera got good enough audio. What happened is I had my, uh, I forgot my tripod. I forgot my tripod for my big camera. That's what I use to prop it up when it's in the trunk. And that records my audio and everything. And, uh... You know, the I don't really use the audio from my DJI action cam, which is on the windshield. Well, I forgot my tripod. I tried putting the big camera in the uh, in the seat next to me. All it was picking up was road, road noise, which was really annoying. Um, so I just used the audio from the action cam. Which I, I honestly don't know how good it's going to be. So I explained all this, but just in the case that I don't use the DJI uh, audio or video at all. Um, you know that's that's kind of what's going on so yeah um hopefully that part made it in if not that's you know you didn't see anything and that's that's why because it just it just i because i forgot because i straight up forgot to bring uh to bring a a tripod a good tripod i, sh I should add Guys, I'm not seeing anything out here. We're just, we're pretty much just going on a nature walk currently. Uh, so I think I'm going to say, I think I'm going to take an L on this one. I'm not even finding any trash, you know what I mean? So I think, I think we're going to take an L on this one. And, uh, set our next intention here and see where it takes us. Because this, this area I've never been. Oh, look, cows way over there way way over there see him 
big old cows. Um, cause yeah, I've never been to this area, so I don't know what to expect. And who knows, maybe we'll get something new. I guess we'll check along here real quick, along this fence line, see if there's anything. And if not, we'll take that L, move on to the next one. That's, that's about all we can do. Besides, I know you guys can only handle so much of staring at grass and rocks before it gets a little monotonous. So I try and I try and keep the pace moving a little bit when we're out here. Like thing with thing is, it's like if we're in the car, you know what to expect. You know we're gonna talk. You know that's why I say tell people like, hey, if you don't want to listen to it, just fast forward it. You know, just skip skip over us talking. But out here, like I know you guys kind of want to you know see some stuff. So if I'm just like, oh, look at this, some grass, oh, here's some plants. And it's going to get monotonous, you know, you guys aren't going to like it. And I don't blame you, I'm not going to watch stuff like that either. So, looking for anything along here could possibly be an intention. There's a first piece of trash that I've seen out here. Shall we investigate it? shell oh god um, got do this this trash was hung up right on this barbed wire and got him right in the eye <laughs> yeah the perfect oh this is uh phantom fireworks out in wisconsin i don't know what this is that was a phantom fireworks guy out in wisconsin it's like their mascot looks like he's got like a joker smile drawn on him or something right there if you guys can see that and both of his eyes are actually poked out you see that? Both of those eyes are poked out with that little, that little Joker smile. That's kind of weird. So what I could understand, like it blew up on, blew up on this fence. And yeah, see, it's a fireworks ad on ad on the back. Phantom brand fire. Wait, it's got something written on it, dude. It, it, no, dude, it legit has something written on it. A, a, dude, I, I literally cannot read this at all. A, U, V, U, N, U, N, okay, U, N. Dude, what is this? Like, legit, I cannot read this at all. But since it's the note on it, I'm guessing it's something we're supposed to find. A U U N something R M T R U truth. I'm guessing that's truth. T R U. Let's see. T R U and something K. But I'm guessing the K is supposed. No, never mind. I see it now. It is an H. T R U T, yeah, there's another T H. Truth, okay. A truth, a something truth. What is it? A. What, dude, what is this? A U N Un. Un. U R M. I literally cannot. Unjust? No, it wouldn't be unjust. Unturned? No, there's an M at the end, I think. Un... I think it, there's an F. See that? There's a little F. F... F... Un... F... O... U N okay, see an N. U N F H Dude, like this thing sucks. Alright. Stalkers. Stalkers. If you want me to be able to read this, at least write it correctly. Or legibly. I don't want you want your message to get out there, that's why you leave me this stuff. 
but if I can't read it, then I can't put your message out there or figure out what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, stalkers who are watching this video, I know you are. Write it right. Like, this is like, dude, you should have learned this back in grade. You probably, you guys probably didn't go to grade school. Never mind. Because if you're out doing this dumb stuff all day long, you have nothing better to do. Because you obviously don't have, like, jobs or anything important other than to just bother people doing random nautica. Dude, why is this the biggest, the biggest riddle right now? It's like trying to figure out the, ch the stalker's chicken scratch. A U N F. I, I think it says an unfound truth. Or there's an, I think there might be an, it's either unfound or a uniform. I think uniform could be the word. Either an unfound truth or a uniform truth. And then it's got this dude with his eyes poked out. And a smile. The fan of fireworks dude. What is going on here guys? What is this? Seriously, what is this? The only thing I can think right now, as I try and get my camera turned around. So, okay. If it's a uniform truth or an unfound truth, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's go with what this symbolizes. Dude wearing a mask, a phantom. Dude wearing a mask and a, cl and a, a hood, a cloak. A mask and a cloak. Who do we see that's like that? Members of the cult, the bird guy. The, uh, the bull guy, um, bird man, bull man, whatever you want to call him. That's who we see that's like that. And uh, maybe that, that's, that represents them. Maybe that re represents them. It's supposed to be a cult member. I don't know why it has a smile. Or maybe it's not supposed to be a smile. Maybe they're trying to spell a word, but they can't because they're not smart enough. Um, What I'm thinking is, if I'm right about that, that kind of coincides with our intent, which is, I think it was how to stop the stalkers. Because the, who's the biggest stalkers? It's those, it's those, um, it's a do, it's a tape mask guy. And they're obviously working against the cult, which is these guys. So I'm guessing, and like I said, this is only, this is a very, very, very rough guess. So I'm guessing what it's trying to say is the only way to be able to stop uh, those those guys, the tape mask gang, we'll call them tape mask and flashlight stalker, is the cult. That's the only thing they're afraid of is the cult. I don't know how true that is. I don't know if I'm I'm right or even on the right base about that one. That that's literally the only thing I can think of right now. Is this is supposed to represent the cult? And, yeah, I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's just kind of a, I won't even say a working theory. That's just kind of the first hypothesis that I thought up was that. Well, so, we have that. It goes into the car. I'll put it with our other Rannanautica stuff. Oh, let's set our last, our final intention intention so thank you anita i uh, appreciate that how to get rid of stalkers i guess so we use the cult to get rid of the stalkers i don't know all right here's our last intention this one is from uh looks like a new subscriber uh to the channel and i'm guessing probably a first time commenter and that's uh oh guys it's not gonna it's not gonna show her oh there we go there we go focus 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 it's from Stephanie Ayers, I think. Stephanie Hires. Stephanie Ayers. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, Stephanie. But it's from Stephanie. We'll just say that. It's from Stephanie. And she left us uh, five intentions. And we're going to go ahead with... Uh, <sighs> treasure Left Behind. Let's, let's end it on a good one. Let's, we usually get some cool stuff for Treasure Left Behind. Um, all right, Stephanie, let's run it. Thank you very much. Guys, leave me your intentions down below. Hopefully we'll find something cool. Just same radius, run the run in the intention. Treasure left behind. I'm 
just waiting, just waiting here for this uh, for this to load. Treasure left behind. All right, we got one. Where is it? All right, it's about it's like about three miles away. I'll get it plugged into Google. Uh, all right, so guys, we're gonna run this one. Uh, I just want to let you know, probably not gonna film on the way there because, like I said, with my camera situation, me being an, an idiot and forgetting my tripod, I don't want to film a bunch of, of content or a bunch of videos. Um, and not, not end up using them. So I'm gonna, probably gonna be, if there was a car talk, that's gonna be the only one there was uh, in this video. Other than that, let's get out there and uh, see what we got. Away we go. Out into the wilderness. This place is quite a little bit, quite a little bit, quite a bit more isolated than uh, the last one we were at. Actually, 10 times more isolated than the last one we were at. No traffic around here, just a hiking trail cut in the middle of plants in the middle of nowhere. Seems like it's reasonably well maintained though. And uh, yeah. Intention is back here, somewhere, back here. Bumblebees are flying around, which is kind of cool. Hopefully, this is still pulled up in Google Maps, because I'm sure I got no service now. Okay, I need to check. The intention should be right up here, I think. I was back in this clump of uh, of woods, I guess. Yes. Okay, we're right, literally, right up here, right on it. And uh, what was our intention again? I think lost treasures or something of the sort, like lost, like hidden treasures or. Let me check. Treasure left behind. Treasure left behind. And if I'm not incorrect, we are on our point. So where is the treasure? Where is the treasure that's left behind? All right, let's, let's go around this bend. Go around this bend, then I saw that deer path. We'll check down there. Oh! What's this? Try not to get too far out again, because I remember the last one we were just at, when I checked, it ended up being right by the car. Or, and the car was right by the point. So I didn't need to walk as far. Check down that deer path. Unless there's something buried in these woods or something, maybe? Treasure left behind. Yo, dude, I see something. Yo. See if I can get on film. I'm going to go grab it. I just want to see that. Maybe. Wait, where is it? Let me see. There it is. I don't know how I saw that, but I saw something that didn't match. There's, a, there's, a, there's definitely money back there. There's definitely money back here. There's money back in these woods, or I don't know how to do a pyre voice. That's the best one I could do. Let me... Yo, dude, what the, what the, dude, holy. Bro, how did I see that? I don't do, I don't know how I just saw that. Holy. Dude, no, do you guys see what I'm looking at right now? Probably not. Which I don't know how I saw it either. Holy. Holy. Dude. I do. I need a breather. There's no way. There's no way. Look at that. You see that? Where'd it go? Where is it? 
So you do like you can't even see it on camera. I don't know how I literally and right there Yo, all right uh, uh, Hold on. Yeah, I, I seriously just need to re recollect real quick Like not recollect just recompose that's the word I'm looking for recompose my thoughts because this is dude This is tripping me out bad Okay, all right All right Do you guys see this right? here you see this right here where is it it's like right here there there you guys see that I'll just grab it in this okay let, let me just break this out you, seriously sorry guys I'm, I'm like going everywhere right now so we got this. You guys see this? See this fishing line right here? Look at this. It's tight too. We got fishing line right here. Okay. And then look what we got right here. We got a knife. We literally have a knife in the ground. We literally have a knife in the ground, right here. And then we have money back here. I have a $20 bill. Straight up, we straight up have a trap. If you guys haven't figured it out, I'm keeping your money. If you guys haven't figured it out, I was supposed to walk back here, see this money, walk back here, trip on that, and land on this knife. Try and get this out of the ground. Oh, dude, it's in here. Hold on. I'm trying not to cut myself. Yeah, there, dude, there's dirt all over this thing. It was yeah, look. It was buried in that hole. Dirt all over it. I'm not gonna, dude, I'm not gonna test that. Dude, that's, that's messed up. That's, that's one of the most messed up things I've seen on Randonauta yet. Literally, dude, this is this is way more heinous than that, than that, than that, uh, that razor blade trap they set for me. I was literally supposed to trip on that wire, on that on that fishing line, and land on on the uh, on the knife, going for a twenty dollar bill. And they did a good job of hiding that. I literally have no idea how I saw that thing. Like, I uh, honestly, like, I don't know how I saw that thing. Seriously, like, I, I, something looked out of place. I saw it just out of the corner of my eye, and I, I realized what it was. But I don't know how I saw that. That's unreal. Anyways, let me, I can get rid of, I can get rid of this. Yeah, see? They put this, they put this fishing line around these branches. And it wasn't, it wasn't, it was tight. It was tight enough to like, so I would stumble and possibly fall. And see, then it goes, it goes to an anchor on the ground right here. Oh yeah, dude, it's the handle of the knife. <sighs> yeah, this was, this was sunk into the ground. The handle of this knife or the sheath to this knife with with fishing line on it. Hold on. And I walk back over by my car because I stirred up some sort of mini beehive over there and they're all pissed off. Dude! What is going on? Bro, dude, what the Dude, this this is this is ridiculous. 
Like, why, why is this happening? Why is this happening? You, you know, you can only brush so much off. You can only brush so much off until it's just like... Like literally, somebody set a trap right now so I'd fall on a knife and ho or at least step on it. Maybe that's why what it was set up for. So I'd, you know, I'd stumble and I'd step on the knife. Somebody literally set a trap for, for me out here, knowing I was coming out here, doing Randonautica, knowing what intention I was going after. Where does this end? Like for real, where does this end? This is ridiculous, dude. This, this could have been my last Randonautica ever if, if their plan would have worked. This could have been my last video ever if their plan would have worked. But it didn't. And I got your 20 bucks too. You ain't getting that back. It's probably a fake 20. I don't know what to say honestly like seriously what do, what do you say about something like this and it's always i know i do i know who it's from it's from the flashlight stalker and that tape mask dude because they always use these same knives they have like a surplus of these knives which makes sense because these you guys don't know what these are these are ak-47 bayonets I shouldn't say AK-47, AK pattern rifle, bear, uh, bayonets. And they're very cheap, they're very plentiful. Pick them up at the gun shows for one or two bucks usually, maybe five. They're not usually sharp. You know, this one's super dull, but they still have a point. That's wild. That dude, that's wild. Prop, I mean, props to you, I guess. Like, good, good job on figuring out how to do that. So, dude, it's like, there's no winning with this. There's no winning with Randonautica. Like this, I see why every, in every video I, I get comments, um, in every live stream I get the comments like, like, hey, you know, don't stop doing what you're doing. Like, we love Randonautica videos. You like, you and like, you know, five other people are the only ones that are still doing it. I see why. I see why. I took this knife because I'm not gonna leave it out. I'm not gonna leave that set up for somebody else to run into. No way. Um, it's just, yeah, I understand why people quit. Like. At what point do we stop this and say, all right, this is, you know, enough for, uh, this is, this is enough. Like, like how much danger are you willing to, or how, yeah, how much danger are you willing to accept in your life? But for me, like now, and it's just, it, it, and this is like twisted stuff. This is seriously like twisted stuff. Um, 
because the last one, I don't know if you guys saw it, like they set up a box for me, a box with a lit candle inside of it in the middle of the forest. And they tried to hide it under this, under like this rock like ledge. So I couldn't see the box. And so I'd, I'd stick my hand there and it had a bunch of razor blades like pointing in. So I reached in to grab the candle. When I reached back out, it cut up my hand. So that didn't work. So like, oh, let's just set a trap where, you know, he's going to trip and fall onto a knife. And they baited me with a $20 bill. Which looks like it's real. So at least I got 20 bucks out of it. You know, you might not risk your life for other videos, but a 20 is a 20. <laughs> oh, it's a stupid joke, just trying to ease the tension. All right, guys. Um, I hate to say this. I am going to call the cops um, about this because this was just, dude, this was just like heinous stuff. So I'm, I am going to call the cops. I'm going to have them come out here, file a report. Um, and I don't know if they'll take me seriously or not. I got some video. I can show them the video. I'm probably going to do that. But I got video to show them. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't know if they'll take me seriously or not. But I, I want to start having this stuff like filed. Like I want to start having this like as reports. So if anything does happen to me, you know, at least there's something on record aside from these videos of like what's going on. So I'm going to call the cops right now. Um, I'm not going to film it because a lot of the times, like when we have to interact with police, as soon as we start, well, as soon as they see the camera, and as soon as they they hear YouTube, you you can just see the 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 uh the switch click off like all right yeah you guys are just view farming like you guys are looking for views like you know so um that's why i don't like recording uh police interactions just because it makes them not take us as seriously so um yeah take it for what it is but i'm gonna call them right now uh, i'm gonna head home i'm gonna calm down a little bit stop get something to drink and then not hard drink but I'm not beverage driving, but uh, just something to drink because it's super hot out. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with you guys and we'll talk and uh, share some final thoughts. But yeah, that's, that's it for today. That's literally the, one of the most messed up things I've come across on Randonautica though. I'm not even joking. That, that's bad. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it here. Uh, I ended up calling the cops. Um, and they came out. I told them what happened. I showed them the footage. They just made a report of it. They're like... I don't know. Like, there's, like, there's not... Like, they even said this, and it makes sense. There's not much they can do. They're like... There's no cameras out here. You know, there's, there's nothing, like... There's not much we can do aside from, you know, just keep an eye open for suspicious behavior. You know, I gave them a description of, uh, of these stalkers. Um, yeah, and they're just like, well, we'll keep a lookout, you know, and they're just, they just told me like, hey, you know, you watch your back if, you know, somebody's after you. Uh, you know, like, you can file, like, you know, or, or order a protection or whatever. I'm like, oh, I don't even know who these people are. And they're like, oh, kind of need to know that at least and uh yeah so yeah like i said i knew i knew not much was going to come out of it um i was not expecting you know like a whole lot to come out of it i wasn't you know expecting them to bring the csi team out and you know dust each blade of grass for fingerprints um but like i said i just want to have a record of these occurrences um in case anything you know i'm, I'm not going to pretend like you know, it's like something worse couldn't happen. Like it's it's a possibility, but um, yeah, you know, I just I want to keep a record just in case anything happens. So, so I make these videos. You know, that's why I do that kind of stuff. Um, you know, yeah, and that's that's it. Um, I'm not going to stop doing random nautica. I, I like I said, this situation. Has not changed my opinion on it. I'm not going to stop doing Randonautica because there's something I need to find. There is something that I'm going to discover. 
um, for them to be throwing this much at me, you know, for for trying to disrupt my try, trying to disrupt me doing Randonautica this much, like their attempts to do this, there has to be something big that I'm right on the verge of uncovering. Otherwise, like it doesn't make sense. Um, this group, the stalker group, has already made it clear they're trying to stop me from finding something. So, I just need to figure out what it is. Um, and we're going to figure out what it is. So, I'm not going to stop doing Randonautica unless something really bad happens. Um, I did, not like, continuing off the last video, I did inform everybody that I'm close to, like, hey, you know, this is what's going on. Um, watch your backs, you know, make sure you're... Your doors are locked at night, everything like that. And as I said, like I had a resounding uh, show of support. The people were like, um, "You need to keep, you need to keep going. Like you got to find. The only way that you're going to get above them is find what they're after. Find that leverage they don't want you to have." Um, so yeah, here we are. But well, there's that's that's about all there is to say that needs to be said. Um, you know, if I keep going on too long, I just run myself in circles over and over again. Uh, so I'm going to leave it off with that. Um, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, let's go out on a positive note here. Uh, new videos are going to be dropping this week a lot. Um, since my wrist is finally not messed up, as I stated earlier, I need to catch up on videos. So I'm going to be dropping a lot of videos this week. I have to be. Um, because I want you guys, you know, I want to keep you guys entertained and I want to press on with this investigation you know I want to see what comes of it so guys uh, keep your eyes open keep those bells on um, for new videos be expecting those and also if you're not subscribed please go down there hit that subscribe button hit that like button share this video helps us out tons um, the more exposure we can get you know it's, it's better for everyone um, the more eyes on these stalkers um, you know they'll know if, if somebody ha if something happens to me like it won't be good for them because a lot of people are following so yeah make sure to uh share this video um what are some good announcements oh we're about two months out eight weeks out right now from the cursed urban meetup if you guys haven't heard we are doing a meetup in the western suburbs of chicago um far western suburb suburbs of chicago we have not announced a place yet it's going to be around 1 p.m on the 21st which is a Saturday, I believe we're gonna have a, a meetup, have a cookout, uh, go do some either randonautica or paranormal together as a group, and then go hit up a, a haunted house in Chicago, and maybe stop at a uh, bar after that, hang out, um, probably where Max works, hang out for a bit. So guys, if you'd like to come, everybody's welcome. Open invite. Bring uh, bring your family, bring your you know whoever, bring your dog. I don't care. Just come on out, October twenty first. Western suburbs of Chicago. Follow us on here. Follow us on the Discord. We will announce more hard details of where, when and where we're going to be closer to the time, but it is happening October 21st in some fashion or another. Uh, also, make sure to go down there. Check out those social media links. Um, follow us on Instagram. Uh, join our Discord and check out the merch on relentlessdark.square.site. Uh, I got some new fall stuff coming, some new hoodies coming out, and guys have been asking for them. And to all the people who have been ordering merch lately, thank you so much. We appreciate your patronage. And speaking of patronage, a special shout out to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. Guys, if you're interested in supporting the channel, um, helping us out with these investigations and adventures, make sure to go down there. Check out the link in our description. Uh, there's a YouTube channel member link and a Patreon link. A um, couple bucks helps us out tons with gas with you know production costs with everything not it's no problem at all um and we do appreciate everybody who does donate thank you so much for making it today possible all right so that does it uh i'm gonna start the long journey back home and yeah i'll keep you guys updated if i hear or see anything else otherwise be expecting a new video soon and we're gonna figure out this investigation or this this situation together but all right guys have a good night or day wherever you're at See you on the next video. Peace out, guys.